Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with an unconscious woman with curly hair, floating underwater. However, her death marks the start of a new existence. But first, let's look at how she got here. Patience Phillips is a quiet woman, who works for a boss she despises. Patience is disregarded because she does not stand up for herself. The woman is a gifted artist, but she wastes her talents as a graphic designer for a cosmetics company. Her dear friend Sally is the only person she gets along with at work. George Hedair co-owns the business with his supermodel wife, Laurel. Bowline, a new anti-aging product will be introduced. Laurel had been using it in secret for years. Yet her husband chose to replace her with a much younger and more attractive model. The wife is obviously outraged, but refuses to express this to her husband and staff. Patience created the advertising, but George demands that she recreate it. He doesn't like the colors and design she used, and gives her 24 hours to redo it, or he will fire her. She obviously obeys and is afraid to argue with the boss. George is that nasty boss who never hesitates to take advantage of his employees. Patience returns home, devastated and frustrated. She has problems resting at night, because of her noisy neighbors. The woman awakens and requests that the music be turned down, but they ignore her. The following morning, she begins work on the company's new advertising. During this time, she spots the cat on the windowsill. As she approaches, she notices that the cat has climbed onto a higher ledge, and may be trapped. She gets worried about the cat, and decides to try to take it. She climbs the windowsill in an attempt to approach the cat, and quickly understands that this is a bad idea. A passing investigator misinterprets her motives, thinking that she wants to jump. He hurries to stop her after asking for her apartment number. She pleads with him that she merely wants to help the cat, as he leads her back into the apartment. She wishes she could have talked longer, but she realizes she is late for work. She drops her wallet in a rush to depart. Tom Lone, the detective takes the wallet, and decides to track it down and return it. In reality, he is just looking for a good reason to find her, and ask her for a date. Tom goes to the company where she works. He returns her wallet, and invites her out for coffee. She feels embarrassed and does not know what to say. Fortunately, Sally pushes Patience to accept, despite her shyness. Next, Patience works late into the night to complete the project. After a few hours of hard work, she goes to deliver her project. Meanwhile, Laurel is speaking with the doctor about bowline cream. Patience discovers that buline causes serious health concerns. She recoils in surprise at many tools. The security guards immediately hear the noise. She catches their eye, and two men pursue her. Patience runs into a massive drainage pipe, getting caught and being dragged into the river. Within seconds, she loses consciousness and drowns. The cat that has been following her for a few days arrives at her body, surrounded by several other cats. Patience regains consciousness after the cat emits a green-colored vapor. She quickly finds that her senses are vastly increased, better than normal humans. Suddenly, she realizes that her hearing has also improved considerably. She can now hear things that a mere human is unable to hear. She eventually pulls herself along, and jumps home like a cat. Her motions are unrestrained, and she smashes her own window glass. She wakes up the next day and discovers the damaged window. Meanwhile, Detective Tom is waiting for her to arrive for their appointment. Unfortunately, she has no recollection of what transpired before that. Her life-saving cat is still inside the house. Patience discovers a note with an address on the cat's collar. She locates the address, and informs the owner that she has found her cat. Ophelia is a former professor, who lives alone in a house filled with cats. The woman says that the cat she discovered is a rare Egyptian Mao, named Midnight. The cat possesses extraordinary abilities that are only granted to a select group of deserving women after they die. Patience doesn't take her seriously, and is eager to get out. Ophelia throws catnip at her, and Patience behaves exactly like a cat. Patience, Ophelia realizes, is no longer a regular human being. While her supervisor yells at her, the girl runs off to work, and falls asleep. George is enraged that Patience isn't working on the project. She ignores him, which irritates him even more. Then she arrogantly states that she regrets wasting her time in this organization. Outraged, the boss immediately fires her, leaving all the other employees speechless. Her co-workers cluster around her as soon as George leaves, to congratulate her. Patience gathers her belongings and departs with Sally. She observes a gorgeous collar necklace as they walk by a jewelry store. Sally collapses at that moment. Patience drives her to the hospital, where she appears to be fine. Patience pays a visit to Tom at school, where he urges pupils to behave nicely. The girl wishes to express her regret for arriving late for the appointment. 
Following that, the two have fun on the basketball court with the kids. She returns home and begins to eat canned fish. The neighbors are holding a loud party that night. She yells at them to be quiet, but they don't listen. Old patients would have backed down, but today she goes to bang on their door. Later, she assaults the landlord, and ruins the musical instruments. She transforms into a different person that night, getting a new haircut, and wearing a leather dress she received as a present. She rides her motorcycle to the store where she saw the lovely necklace. Around this time, she witnesses robbers looting the store. Patience, now known as Catwoman, refers to them as amateurs, and begins beating them up. She appears to be having a good time with them. The next morning, she wakes up on the floor at home, surrounded by jewelry. She packs them all, and returns them to the rob store. When the parcel with the sorry message and all the gems is discovered, the police are already investigating the store. Patience later returns to the strange woman. Ophelia explains that Midnight wanted to see if Patience was deserving of her gift. Patience now has a gift, and a new existence. She is a completely different person with new duties. She is now on the prowl, wearing an ill-fitting leather frock and the cat mask that Ophelia provided her. Catwoman decides to track down the man who attempted to shoot her the night she died. She walks into a nightclub, and orders a glass of milk. She looks around, and eventually finds the man she is seeking. She tosses him out and disarms him in record time. She eventually knocks him down and realizes, after a tussle, that he has no idea who Patience is. He is aware that this is a company controversy, and advises her to speak with George or Laurel. Catwoman visits the corporate headquarters. She discovers the doctor she saw the night before inside. He is lifeless on the floor. A passing janitor joins the scene, and misidentifies Catwoman as the man's assassin. When the cops arrive, the alarm goes off, and Catwoman runs. Tom discovers the sari writing on the coffee and the bag the next day at the police station. They eventually investigate the two writings, and discover that they were both written by the same person. Tom and Patience meet some time later. The detective tells her about coincidences, but there isn't enough evidence to suspect anything. They ride the observation will a little later. The will has an abnormality at one point. They become aware of a child ready to fall off. Tom tries to approach the youngster and save him, but Patience understands he won't make it in time, so she leaps into action. She approaches the child in seconds, and clutches his hand, rescuing him. Catwoman, now a wanted felon, infiltrates George's exclusive apartment. Inside, she has a brief argument with Laurel. She demands to know where George is, warning Laurel about Buleen's severe side effects. Laurel expresses her desire to assist her, and provides her with a hotel address as well as a cell phone number to keep in touch. Catwoman also discovers George with Dina, another upcoming model, on a private balcony that night. When she walks in, a security guard notices her, and notifies the cops. Dina becomes bored and temporarily wanders away. Catwoman takes her position, and attempts to question George, scratching his face. She is soon halted by the unexpected appearance of the police. She has no choice but to jump onto the stage, and encounters Detective Tom with a gun below the stage. The two start fighting. Catwoman doesn't want to hurt him, so she flirts with him, and kisses him. She is forced to run, as reinforcements arrive in a matter of minutes. Laurel walks into her husband's office the next day, and notices him grumbling about the scars on his face. He is provoked and hit by the woman. George loses control and raises a hand on her, but he gets hurt. This is one of Buleen's effects. Next, Patience is getting ready for another rendezvous with Tom. Sally assists her in selecting a dress. Tom tells Patience about his battle with Catwoman during another date. He admits that she kissed him, but she doesn't appear to be jealous. The two sleep together later that night, but Tom wakes up in the middle of the night. In her residence, he discovers a diamond-studded claw that he immediately recognizes. He brings a glass from the police lab that Patience had been drinking from. Patience and Catwoman are the same person, according to the analysis. Meanwhile, Patience awakens alone in bed, to a phone call from Laurel, who informs her that she has discovered evidence of her husband's crimes. Catwoman visits his home, and discovers George dead on the floor. This is a trap, and Laurel places the gun in Catwoman's hands, so that the police can identify her as the murderer. Her speed permits her to flee unnoticed. The next day, she arrives home to discover Tom inside. He knows she has the ability to easily disarm him if she so desires, but she does not. She attempts to defend her innocence, but he reminds her that all evidence points to Catwoman as the murderer. She lets him lock her up in the holding cell while crying. Midnight enters the cell that night. Patience is motivated to go out, and foil Laurel's nefarious plan. Elsewhere, Laurel announces the commercialization of Bo, 
Line. Catwoman goes to the Bow Line production warehouse and disables all of the trucks, preventing the items from being delivered. Tom attends a Bow Line press conference. He takes Laurel aside discreetly and informs her that he has requested proof of her misdeeds. She unwittingly confesses to murdering her spouse and plans to kill him too. Catwoman, fortunately, comes in time, but Tom is already injured and cannot run rapidly. She is forced to stay behind to fight Laurel as she chases them down. Catwoman realizes that Laurel cannot feel pain on her marble skin as a side effect of the cream. Despite this, she brings Laurel one step closer to death after a hard battle. She tries to help her, but Laurel sees her face in a window reflection. Horrified by her skin's disintegration, she slips out the window and dies. Catwoman's activities make headlines, and the Hydra Corporation closes down. She eventually ends her relationship with Tom, and prepares to live her own life, free and untamed. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.